so what I do here is the Serenity Lounge. Um, this, this is a great avenue for individuals. The Serenity Lounge is a vibroacoustic lounge chair. It has four speakers that run through it. Vibroacoustics, which really work with the body, getting it, allowing the individuals to relax. Um, through the vibrations and, and the sounds, it puts the body at ease. So, so we're able to release the tension and, and stress that comes along with this whole process, new, newly feel, new feelings, um, so on and so forth. And it really, you're, you're able to be at ease, at least for that, that half hour session. So it's really a valuable tool that the clients have the opportunity to have somewhere they can just relax and Really the vision of transformations is helping others and doing that in, in the most individualized but yet broadest spectrum possible that we can possibly reach. Um, transformations is constantly growing, developing new ways of reaching out to not only the addicts but the community as well. And that's one reason why this, this place has been effective is because we do strive to, to connect with the community as well. This process really encompasses a lot of, a lot of different aspects. It, it really reaches into the individual, what really they're looking for and what, where their passions lie. It has multiple groups going on at one time, so they can really fit what's most appropriate for them. Um, the Christian track is very well developed to give believers and non-believers the opportunity to really see what works for them. Um, it's great seeing an individual that has no faith at all walking in and through like Celebrate Recoveries and the Christian therapists and different groups really start to believe and see that change in such little time. Um, it's really a blessing. Ginger and Helena are, are great with getting them the tools they need to be successful once they walk out the door. Um, this isn't just like a one and done thing. They are constantly in contact and have the support that they need. Um, which really is an uncommon thing in treatment centers. Um, I think transformations really goes above and beyond in that aspect really allowing them to get their needs met um, and especially on that individual basis where they're not just a number. Well actually relapse prevention is one of the groups that I do um, once a week. It's offered twice a week for the the clients here and really we try to target there the cause and condition life happens no matter what once we leave those doors it, it really comes down to well do I have the tools to deal with it it do I have the opportunity to put something between me and that next one if that answer is no um, I'm done but if, if, there, if a solution is provided, they have a shot. And that's what's so critical within these 30 days is to really get that, that whatever it is, higher power if you want to call it that, some kind of solution that is working for them um, so they have a chance. Because without that knowledge and that opportunity, it's not an if, it's a when. Everyone knows someone that, that is addicted. Um, really, it just comes down to, to someone's desire. Do, do, do they have that window of opportunity um, where it really opens up an option for them to receive help? With, without that window of opportunity, there's, there's unfortunately not much that can be done.
But if that's open, make that call because that's a crucial time to actually get something done because it doesn't last forever. I do what I do to help people because I know what, where I was and I know the trauma and I know all the, the hate and the, the guilt that go along with that repetition, that constant cycle. And if I can just break through to one individual and break that cycle, my job's worth it. And fortunately in the position I do, I, I have the opportunity to break through and cut down that cycle in a lot of people's lives. The staff you really can't beat here because it is a bunch of people that in one way, or shape, or form have been affected by this disease. And we come together as a group, and even more so as a family. Um, with, all with our different flaws, all with our assets. And we mesh. It's not a perfect fit, but that's what makes it so great. Because we're always willing to learn and grow by each other's mistakes and it really forms that tight-knit network um, where we can really thrive and be an asset. If someone wasn't there for me, I would have been dead at nine years ago, hands down. But someone stepped in and interve intervened with God's grace in mind, showed me what it meant to be humble, and gave me a glimmer of hope that I never had. Um, and within that moment, I can look back at a turning point where if it wasn't for that, I would have been on the streets dead. Um, but it was just that one conversation, and I can't even remember what was said, but I knew there was hope there. And that's why I come to work, to make that difference for that one person. Thank you.